the founder of the company, a charter boat captain by the name of Don McGee, couldn't find the boat that he was looking for, despite the fact that there were plenty of boats in the market. So he decided to start a boat company on his own. And he addressed the many issues that he believed were important and simply not available in the marketplace. So he started this hardcore offshore fishing boat with all the characteristics that he was looking for and it launched a, a revolution. What the new owners of the company decided to do is to retain those characteristics but merge them with high-end fit and finish, yacht-like fit and finish. Looking sharp, looking attractive, irrespective of where it might be in the boat. The wiring, the hardware, it's the hallmark of quality that's seen throughout the boat. When CV looks at the marketplace, it doesn't want to just bring another boat. We want to be able to bring something better. By pushing the performance envelope, by solving problems, we try to take advantage of existing technology and then come up with our own technology and merge them together to end up with a better boat. We went from twin engine boats to triple engine boats to now quad engine boats. They're all fly-by-wire. All these engines are synchronized together. It's, they're relatively easy to, to operate. And we take advantage of those technologies. But then we have to marry that technology to the geometry of our hull so we get the performance that we're looking for. Well, there's technology being introduced in the marketplace all the time. And sometimes we'd like to be at the forefront of incorporating that technology and coming to market with a fresh product. Other times, we're not convinced that the new technology delivers the best performance possible for our customers. So we go back and we try to solve problems like we've been doing since this company began. We have computer models with lots of data that we could crunch over and over again to solve problems, to push the performance envelope, and to be convinced we have a better solution. And only when there's a consensus that we feel strong about do we move forward with a CV that has a step tall. Step hauls were attractive to us. We liked the fact that they were fast and that you have better fuel efficiency. We were just concerned about some of the inherent problems that step haul had. One of the first things that we looked at was, well, what are the downfalls of applying a stepped haul to a fishing boat? There was issues in the industry. There was issues primarily with safety. Over the years, we've looked at the stepped hauls and we've looked at the advantages. And it always translated to one thing, speed. The boat was faster, and hence it would be better on fuel. But when you looked at the overall running characteristics, they were horrible, in some cases dangerous. So we sat down at the drawing table, made a list of all the issues that we found with the step bottom, and then we decided to go forward and make a huge investment in engineering resources and take our time to make sure that all these problems were fixed with great solutions. Not only are we going to bring all the pros that a stepped haul has to bring to market, we were also going to be able to produce a boat that can perform the way we need it to perform from start to finish. Our challenge was to be able to come back to CV and say, we can calculate and predict what the hull should do and optimize the design of the hull. What happens when the step height increases by half an inch? What happens if you change the afterbody angle by a half degree? What if we move the steps closer together? What if we move the steps further apart? Prior to developing our own computational tool called Virtual Sea Trial, we couldn't calculate the impact of those. And CV's approach was, look, until you can tell me that we've got an optimized design, we've got a design that'll deliver performance and efficiency, a design that'll work at wide open throttle and at cruising RPM or slower. A design that'll work for very high loads that are typical for a long offshore fishing trip and low loads that are normal when you're gonna go to the sandbar with your family. They said, look, until you can do those things, we're not ready. I imagined a boat that had the characteristics of everything we've done over the years that has made CV what it is today 
but in a high performance step haul. The boat had to be able to handle a high speed turn. You need to be able to see the horizon as you get up on a plane. Performance of the transducers and of the bait walls. So all of this played a big part in our design. A lot of companies engineer their bottoms, they design a plug, build a mold, and then they build their first boat and go out and test it. And for the most part, the investment at that point is so large, they're married to whatever the outcome of that product is, and they go forward. We decided not to work that way. After all the designs, we took that to a running plug, and the idea there was run it, confirm everything that the computer models were telling us, take it out in the real world and see what it did. What happens if this prototype doesn't perform the way you expect it to? And the answer is simple. We scrap it and we start all over again. You know, we've been asked, why have you kept this so quiet along this time? If the plug didn't perform, that was the end of it. We were not going to build this boat if it didn't do everything we wanted the way we wanted it and we could stamp the CV logo on the side of it. With the introduction of the CVZ, the market now will, will see the very first stepped haul boat that not only is it fast and fuel efficient, but it's safe and reliable and easy to operate. The boats that some of our competitors built tend to possibly slide or hook in a sharp turn. The solution to that problem was the CV speed rail. The CV speed rail creates a vertical positive pressure surface that does not allow the bottom of that boat to slip out at high speeds when going into a turn. Another concern was keeping the steps ventilated at all times. So we had to design a ventilation cavity to allow maximum efficiency even at lower speeds. The boats had to be amongst the fastest in the step tall industry. Get on plane quickly with minimal effort and minimal bow rise and be able to maintain low cruising speeds with the right trim angles. Well, there's people that have looked at a step tall boat and understandably, they have some concern. They're excited on the one hand and maybe worried on the other because they've heard these things in the marketplace, but now they could look at the CVZ and know all those problems have been addressed, that this is a boat that does give them everything they're looking for. The fisherman will get in a CVZ and he's gonna to get to the fish fast. He's gonna burn less fuel. He is going to have live bait in the live well because we've solved that problem as well. So irrespective of whether you're a fisherman or you're uh, wanting to cruise with your family. The CVZ is all about fun, it's all about energy, it's all about speed and fuel efficiency and safety. The CVZ is a boat for the guy that's looking for high performance, adrenaline, and just an exhilarating experience. CV's claim isn't that we invented the step haul. Our claim is that we perfected it. So for all those who waited and wondered when will CV be introducing their step tall, it's here, it's now, it's fast, and you will be impressed with its handling and performance characteristics.